you're having pain by your shoulder blade, not sure quite what to do, well, it could be a subscapularis trigger point. Let's figure out what that is and if you have it. Hey everyone, welcome to the front row with Ed. Today we're gonna to talk about subscapularis pain. First of all, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you do. I've got a bunch of stuff on there, foam rolling, stretching, fitness, all sorts of stuff. Today we're talking about shoulder pain. Oftentimes I'll have clients that'll talk about a deep ache. Sometimes they don't have full range of motion and deflection. They talk about posterior scapular pain. Sometimes even deep, feels like it's deep inside the joint. Well, a big muscle there that could be the culprit is called the subscapularis. Let's first meet the muscle and find out where the trigger points live, and then we'll figure out a way to try to treat it. The subscapularis sits in between the shoulder blade and the rib cage, and it is often difficult to palpate unless you go high up into the armpit along the lateral border of the scapula. Here you can see it's an orange and it's been kind of peeled back a little bit so you can see how it lives on the inside of that shoulder blade right along the rib cage. If you do have trigger points in the subscapularis, everywhere in the red is where you may be experiencing pain. Where you find the black X's are where the trigger points usually lie. Once again, high up into the armpit on the undersurface of the scapula, in between the scapula and the rib cage. As you just saw, the trigger points for the subscapularis lie deep on that inside lateral border of the scapula. And you have to get through it by basically going in through the armpit. And if you've ever had any armpit work done, you know it's not fun, but it is a necessary evil. So let's check to see how we can find it ourselves, and if so, how we can treat it. So in this example, I'm gonna be getting into my left subscapularis. So I'll have my left arm hanging between my legs. My right hand, you can either use your thumb pressure or you can use pads. The way you're gonna find it, is you're gonna to come to the lateral edge of the scapula. So reach back here and find out the edge of your scapula. Then you're gonna pop in, and then it's gonna be up it's gonna be in and then up towards that armpit. So it's kind of deep inside that armpit. And usually you'll find some soreness in that area. Now you might get a little numbness or tingling. If you hit what's known as a brachial plexus, just move your fingers off of that area. We don't wanna mess with the nerves in through there. Then what you'll do is you're just kind of basically coming all the way down that lateral border of that inside edge of the scapula. If you find something that's sore, you're going to breathe through it. You're going to stay there 30 seconds to a minute, and you're just trying to work it out with small circular strokes. If it's not comfortable to use the fingertips, you can use your thumb. Get your thumb in there. Once again, find the lateral border. You're going to go high. You're going to go up and then in towards your head, and usually you'll find it if it's tender there. Same thing, 30 seconds to a minute, and we're going to work that out a little bit. Remember, after you finish trigger point work, if you can, it's always beneficial to stretch the muscle. In this example, I just worked on my left subscapularis, worked it out, found some trigger points. There was like three of them in there. I worked them out, each one, for about 30 seconds to a minute. Now I want to stretch the muscle. So this is what you're going to do. You need a cane, a stick, a mop handle, whatever you have. I'm going to hold it here, just like this, where it's behind me here, and I'm reaching back with my hand. So that's what it looks like right there. I reach across here with my right hand. I try to bring my elbow out a little bit and then I'm pulling forward with this hand. And what it's doing is it's taking my arm into external rotation. Ideally, I want to work that external rotation in different planes. So you notice first my elbow is straight towards the camera and I'm pulling back. Coming to the edge, holding it steady for about 30 seconds, letting it release bringing it out a little bit more, externally rotating, holding it, bring it all the way out to 90 degrees if I can, and externally rotating it. Now I understand that this may be painful for some people. So if it's obviously painful, you're not gonna do it. Please exercise common sense. 
but since the subscapularis is an internal rotator, remember, if we want to stretch, we have to separate origin insertion. So if the action of the muscle is to bring my arm in, to stretch it, I need to bring it back out. Let's say, for example, all of the above are still painful. What you can still try to do is bring your arm by your side and work it into external rotation in this angle if need be just to see if you can get some external rotation. If all external rotation is still painful, then initially just work on the trigger point work until you get that to settle down, and then you may have the ability to slowly work it into external rotation. All right, so there you go. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And remember, there's other videos that I have on there that talk about trigger points and other parts of the rotator cuff if you are having any. Any questions, let me know. If not, good luck.